Hello, it's Susan here from Komori no Hime Cosplay, and today we're going to be making the practice skirt for Sakura from Zombieland Saga. Now, I'm making specifically Sakuras, but you could make it in whatever color you like for any of the other main characters. To make the waistband of Sakura's skirt, we're going to cut a rectangle out of some darker pink fabric. I'm using some keepsake calico just because I liked the two-tone look to it. Then we're going to fold the rectangle in half, and we're going to sew together all along the raw edge using a zigzag stitch to hold the two pieces together and to help keep the edges from fraying. Take a long rectangle of the pink fabric and pleat it until it is the same length as the waistband. Putting right sides together, sew the waistband to the top of the pleated skirt. Use an iron to press the waistband upward, but we're not going to top stitch at this time. Fold the skirt in half, putting right sides together, and we're going to sew it together along the side. Install a zipper into that center back seam, then we're going to finish the edges using a rolled hem. Now essentially what we have is a completed pleated skirt, and if you want to use your own petticoat, you could just stop now and wear a petticoat underneath a basic pleated skirt. But to change things up a little bit, we're going to be adding our own little tiny petticoat to this skirt. Cut a large rectangle out of white fabric and zigzag along the edges to keep them from fraying. This is going to be the base part of the petticoat. Then we're going to cut a smaller rectangle, fold it in half, and zigzag along the edges, and this is going to become the ruffle. Gather the ruffle and sew it to the bottom of the base petticoat. Fold the petticoat in half, putting right sides together, and we're going to sew it together along the side, but only partially so that there's room to access the zipper. Press that seam open and continue pressing along the non-sewn together pieces, and we're going to sew along each side around the bottom and back up to keep everything in place. Gather the petticoat and we're going to sew it to that flap left over from sewing the waistband to the skirt together. That's why we didn't top stitch, so we'd have some material to attach the petticoat to. Top stitch along the waistband to help secure the petticoat in place. And with that, Sakura's skirt is done! For more cosplay tutorial videos, please subscribe, and thank you very much for watching!